So that's what I'm, I'm enjoying so much. Okay, we're, okay. On, we're live, we're here. Um, Hi, okay, I think, okay. Uh, let's see if I, it showed up on my, uh, oh yeah, it does. Wonderful, I'll put the like there. So I can open it and we, and we can see the comments. Oh, yes, I didn't even I was accept that. that I will me. hold on a second. That's so funny. Sorry, I was being a bad girl. You have to mute the volume because if you right. don't, we're going to get echo, yep. echo, echo location. I cool. think I just did. And so this way we can, I can see the comments. Awesome. So you're a little more talented than I am for anyone who has <laughs> not. Uh, okay, so I'm just going to paste these comments that I had pasted here into the Facebook Live so people can see it and we can um, yeah. remember those comments for later. Um, I think for me, it's time for a different conversation. For me, yes. and, and it's time to recognize that the things that we've chosen up to now worked, they got us to here, and now we're at a place or a space where we can either choose to contract to destroy to decay or we can begin to open up our arms and and choose something different and the thing that i pasted the conversation with dr zach bush and and what we're speaking about now and really practically every class and every book from access consciousness talks about a different way of functioning and a different possibility and i'm honored grateful beyond words and thrilled to have these tools and to be able to have conversations that are different than the trauma and the suffering and the pain that so many people are functioning from. So thank you for being here, Helen. And yeah, everybody. and um, isn't that our conversation is about all of life comes to us with ease, joy, and glory? What a concept. <laughs> yeah. This is kind of like, because I loved when you said that, let's talk about all of life comes to us with ease, joy, and glory. And what's interesting, when we decided or chose to do it, Dane announced that we need to say that. It was the same time. day. It was the same day. day. That, that was so it. funny. I know. It's about being aware that it's time to get out of our misery, out suffering and it doesn't, and a lot of people misunderstand that. Let's talk about what does it actually mean? Because all of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory. Doesn't mean that everything is peachy. And it, or it can, but it's all of life. All of life. Not just uh, being kind of like stuck in the house and not see anybody and all my all my life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory, but it's all of life comes to us with ease, joy, and glory. We yeah. forget that. We forget that it's about oneness. And, and to, to me, it's that arms open. It's bring it on life. It's everything can come to us. Oh shit, sorry. Um, my <laughs> including my this. vacuum cleaner is still vacuuming here. Hang on one second. Yeah, <laughs> and including that, uh, including the vacuum cleaner still cleaning, including the thunderstorm that was last night, the earth required that, yeah, it woke me up from my sleep, but it's still, it's about our points of view. It's about all of our attitudes how we take it, how we receive it. Because if we resist and react, that's when pain and suffering happens. Yeah. Uh, isn't it the definition, one of the definitions of pain and suffering is resistance to pleasure. It's a pleasure yes. to resist that creates pain. And the pleasure we receive is orgasmic. So what if everything that we receive, that we can receive everything without point of view. So, okay, you just touched on something huge uh -huh. without a point of view. So how many points of view are we holding to create those barricades and those resistances to having ease with everything? 
yeah. It, it, it what, I'm, what I'm getting with the, with the mantra, with all of life comes with ease, joy, and glory. Jeez, the, and the majority of the way we've been responding to the quarantine, we've been, uh, you know, doing things on social media, we've even been sending, you know, memes and jokes and all sorts of stuff from this energy of resistance, from, you can't get me down, you know, not from, hmm, okay. I can melt this. Or too. aligning and agreeing that, oh yeah, that's, oh, yeah, that's, that's serious. Terrible. Oh my God. It's like something is going to get me out there if I don't wear my mask or gloves. Yeah. Wow. That it's, it's almost as if we've, we've sent a message. If I don't wear my mask and gloves, then for sure, somebody's going to, you know, get hurt around me or I'm going to hurt somebody else. And yeah. But yeah. in, in reality, virus has been around. I like what the, um, that doctor is talking about in that video that the, the first cruise that was uh, kind of quarantined, 3,000 people, including kids, including everybody. Adults, yeah, Adults. older grandparents. And they were not segregated in their um, kind of like rooms. They were out and doing things, but they were on that ship. 3,000 people together, completely. No segregation, kids like crawling everywhere. And only a few people got sick. Yeah. Not everybody got sick. Yeah. And this isn't about talking about whether to be quarantined or to be, you know, in our own homes and isolated or not. Not talking about, you know, no, that no, no, we are not. argument We're not talking at about all. It's yeah, just, we're not talking about going against your government or regulations. It's about being aware and asking questions. Yeah. What are you aware? Or what are you resisting and reacting that creates that yes. unease in your world? It's about yeah. receiving all of that. So what if we didn't resist and react or align and agree with whatever is going on? Because both of those sides are reactions. Right. Either the aligning and agreeing or the resisting and reacting serve to solidify that very thing that, you know, the, the I like to use chords, you know, that chord of what we're supporting, this point of view, this concept of reality, the only way we can hold it up is by the positive polarity or the negative polarity. So mm -hmm. aligning and agreeing or resisting and reacting, and it keeps a solid point of view in place. But when we're willing to look at it as, hmm, that's interesting. That's an interesting choice. What do I know here? What works for me? With no point of view of, oh, I gotta fight this, or this is wrong, or this is right, or nothing, just letting it go. And it's no- From both ends. Support. By the way, Rachel, from both ends. Both ends, yeah, I'm just gonna drop my, my big heavy thing that I'm <laughs> But yes, it, ow. <laughs> it would be both ends. <laughs> but yeah. I could hear that clang. Of it. Yeah, okay. whether it's positive or it's negative, which part is sticking you? And which part are you still holding on that's not allowing to have all of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory? Yeah. Because what if you can change anything just by looking at that and saying, wait a second, is it serving me? Is it doesn't have to be right and wrong, but we are so stuck in either the rightness or the wrongness of the things. Yeah. What if we didn't have to? Because all of life comes to me with is joy and glory or to us with is joy and glory. It's pretty much that. No resistance and reaction and no aligning and agreeing. So how much we all took on, not just our points of view, but everybody else around us. Because we bought it that it's serious. We bought it that we have to suffer. But is suffering real? Yeah. Let's do a little expansion. Let's kind of like see where is this reality in relationship to us? 
How much can did I, I make? Can I add something it? before you do the expansion and we'll incorporate it into the expansion? So you and I facilitated a foundation class this past weekend. Was it foundation or something else? <laughs> oh, it was, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was not limited to the foundation manual by any stretch of the imagination. It was uh -huh. amazing. <laughs> one it was of the amazing. elements that we were looking at, one of the things was the concept of overwhelm. And yeah. overwhelm being an over resistance to receiving. And that just went doink, 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 doink in, in uh, both our worlds. But look at that. It's, it's that not being able to control things that creates that overwhelm because we want to control it. We want it to show up in, in one particular way or in a particular way that's familiar or known to us rather than this, whoa, you know, what contribution could we receive from everything when we're not attempting to limit how it shows up and the only way that it can come? So when we do this expansion, what if overwhelm is just a story? It's a it is a story. And it's, it's a, a story choice. and it's a lie. It's total lie. Because yeah, but we could choose to keep lying to ourselves. I mean, that's one of the things we've got as a possibility if we'd like it. Or yeah, but remember that tell it. the truth, nothing but the truth, help me God. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that one. Yeah, that uh, one. Yeah, and yet we lie to ourselves constantly. So we're the, what we're is our that? favorite one to lie to. Yeah, because we tell the truth to a lot of people, but to ourselves, and we think of ourselves as honest people. <laughs> <laughs> that's very true you know and we'll bend over backwards to please everybody else but we don't include us and oh. what we know and what we're capable of and our capacities and our if we truly knew what we knew everything could contribute to us and nothing nothing would overwhelm us and nothing would be pain and suffering and glory because there would be no resistance there it's no, just because, something that flows and moves and we have that choice to receive it. Yeah, think of air. Like when we are expanded and that's where that's why I wanted to do the expansion and we'll do that in a second. But I'm glad you brought that up because when we are expanded, nothing can harm us so we can receive everything. Mm -hmm. But instead, we make ourselves contract to the size of smaller than this reality to accommodate this reality. Oh my God, this is so beautiful. I have a bird here that is orange and white and black like orange. I'm not sure what that is. And it's just sitting there. I have to take a picture. I'm sorry, I'm a little ADD and I'll post it here <laughs> if I can actually. But then it. send it with the email for everyone who's registered so we get to see the, the bird. Yeah, the uh, let's see if I can, uh, oh my God, this is just so beautiful. Um, let's see if we can, ah, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to send it to you in WhatsApp. <laughs> oh, I and then, you want uh, me to share it on the screen? Okay, yeah. I can open up WhatsApp, hang on. I, I, I can handle some technology. You know, yeah. it comes because to me with it, ease and joy and glory when I get out of the point of view that it's too much. There you go. Mm -hmm. I can right. It's too, too much. Off. Let's see if I can do the same thing. Uh, it's. If but I we can. can also paste it beneath. The, right. That's what I was thinking about to do that here in uh, group chat. And then let me download uh, it and I'll open it. In. Uh huh. Uh, I think we can, uh, um, yeah, I think you can oh, upload on the beautiful. Facebook. Well, I think that's a Robin. But ra isn't it Robin like uh, red? Because I've seen Robins is red. <laughs> yes. And uh, he or she is just watching us. So see the universe is open to receive anything. For the bird, it's is joy and glory, just enjoying the day. And how much, even if this is a beautiful day, we still 
plagued, and I'm going to use that word, plagued by our own suffering, our own points of view that keeps us stuck in this reality. Uh, yep, this one. How beautiful this is. <laughs> and it's showing off. <laughs> Yeah, we can go back to the Zoom. Rich, you muted yourself. Oops. So. <laughs> <laughs> we still would like to hear what you have to say. And um, so let's do the expansion exercise and see what we can change uh, in our lives to create more ease, joy, and glory. So um, you don't have to close your eyes. Just uh, open your crown and pull the energy through your body and connect to earth. And pull the energy from earth through your body and out of your head, mixing it in the heart and expanding from the heart. Expand a kilometer, a mile, 10 kilometers, 10 miles, and keep expanding Make yourself as big as earth. And if you say, oh, I can't do that. Well, you already did that. <laughs> we seem to be brighter than we ever realized. Yeah, we are much faster. So just expand into infinity. And now look at your life and look at this reality. How big is that now? It's so big, isn't it? very small compared to us and how big are those problems you decided are the problems not so big are they it's much easier to change and shift things when we are expanded so what if that's what all of life comes to us with ease joy and glory mean oh i just realized something when we expand we actually become one there's no separation at there all there's no separation and every molecule begins to play with us yeah. which i love because it's one of the things that i love about the symphony sessions especially done at a distance is mm -hmm. there's there's such that you think you're alone. You think you're sitting in your own house. Uh, whether symphony session or even having this conversation, you think you're alone, but that's not true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And because we are one, that's the oneness. All of life. This is all. This is what all is when we are expanded. It's all of us. I perceive that in our in the body as well. Do you can Yeah, because the body no, is also infinite. Yeah. It's that one like we are a drop in the ocean, but we also ocean. So when we expand, we become that ocean. So all of life comes to us with ease, joy, and glory. How cool is that? And I love a metaphor that Dane used, um, and, and sometimes it's easier to illustrate things as, as you know, with, with the picture of the metaphor, I, I tend to be very visual anyway. Mm -hmm. But if we're living in such a contracted way, if we don't acknowledge that we're that infinite being, we are, you know, this space and energy and consciousness that's just so amazing and uncontainable and we're functioning like a little tiny you know thimble of of water and all we have is this little tiny thimble anything that drops into it somebody's point of view uh, some situation the government like yesterday saying stay in your houses till monday nobody can step out you know <laughs> whatever, so whatever it is that they come <laughs> up with you know it rocks your world and you create such a spray because you're so freaking contracted but that mm -hmm. same point of view or that same pebble or that same rock or that same shake or whatever it is for an entire ocean or a big lake the effect is so much smaller. So when we're willing to embody, to truly like say, you know what, I get, I'm an infinite being. And you know, there's some things that maybe it's not worth arguing with. Sure, you can argue for your limitations. Sure, you can argue to be as, you know, finite and as limited and, uh, you know, 
pain and suffering and whatever as you like. And you can argue for that till you're blue in the face. Or you can say, okay, well, I wonder if that's not really the case and what else would be possible if I were willing to actually see myself as something more than I've been told I've been my entire life. What if I am infinite? What if I am expanded? What if this thing that looked like a problem or it looked so overwhelming isn't necessarily so? Because if we look at it one way, we can definitely look at it the other way too. And then many, many other ways. That's what a point of view is. You know, we can yeah, look at from things every direction. Yeah. Yeah. And, and when we recognize that we're that expanded space, geez, there's nothing that can stand in our way, which means that everything can come with ease and joy and glory. Our very willingness to be that space is what melts, what, what shifts everything around us so that we aren't at, not only are we not at the effect of everything, but our spaciousness, our willingness to recognize that we are that infinite begins to change and to take apart the solidity of other people's stories around us. Not even by saying a word, but just by being that space. By being, because that's what the governments, the kind of like politicians wants us to be separate. In Guatemala, sitting in your home not even going outside that's a separation that's a total opposite of oneness yeah so when we realize that we are not sub even if we're sitting at home by ourselves we're still that infinite being and we can be the part of that oneness the kingdom of we that can change anything including the governments if we choose that yeah. But if we choose to be small, if we choose to be pathetic, as we've decided that we cannot, that life is suffering, life is overwhelmed, which is a resistance to receive. So what if we stop that? Totally stop that stupidity, as I call it, because that's the unawareness. Mm -hmm. If we use our awareness, if we become more conscious, we realize we are that ocean. Mm -hmm. Even that we are the drop in the ocean, we don't have to separate. We don't have to separate our molecules that we breathe from other people's air that they breathe because it's all one. When so this, that song was lying that whole time, the all by myself, total lie. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we are here on a Zoom, but perceive the energy for a second. Are we each separate in our own homes or are we actually together? Let's touch each other. Let's actually connect with our hands. Hollywood Squares. <laughs> yeah, Hollywood Squares. Or the Muppet Show. <laughs> you know, what if we them. give each other a virtual hug? Yeah. Virtual hug. And I'm hugging all of you right now. You know, earlier, um, as uh, I know Ingrid very well. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, in the Hollywood Square beneath you. Um, so run it and I'm serving you people here. <laughs> So um, Ingrid's, Ingrid's pup, uh, Bongo, has been um, having a, an intense last few days. And one of the questions that I had uh, asked, is Bongo healing someone? And she had answered today that he's healing a lot of different people and the planet. You know, he's, he's actually taking all this stuff in through his body. And when I read that, when I, because I've, when someone is a healer, acknowledging mm -hmm. that capacity is something that allows it to begin to change and to recognize that they have a choice in the matter. I was, I was typing, you know, in, in WhatsApp, because, you know, that's just what we do now in days. Yeah. Um, What's up? Because <laughs> I perceived that generosity of spirit of such a magnanimous being that's so 
interested in contributing to everyone. And sorry, I'm, I'm sometimes when I get vulnerable, <laughs> tears, tears come, but it's not tears of sadness. It's these tears of gratitude that we are all connected and that there are so many beings, so many people who are willing to recognize that something else is possible and something else is available. And, and that, you know, we're that caring and kind to one another to recognize that no one is sitting alone in their castle. <laughs> no, yeah, at all. We are not. If we choose to, we can, because our point of view create our reality. So if our point of view is we are all together, there is no separation, that's what we are. But if we have a point of view, yes, the governments are right, we need to separate ourselves, we need to isolate ourselves, then we create that world of separation, anxiety, suffering, pain. For what? What is the reason and justification that you give yourself for the suffering. And a lot of it, what I found with myself when I put myself in that place, because I've done it so many times, even now, there are moments where I buy into this reality where it's like, wait, but that's all lies. So what's the value of choosing that? Yeah. And the value turns out to be kind of like killing ourselves. So how much are we killing ourselves by not choosing ease, joy, and glory? Yeah. By, by creating choosing, resistance. Yeah, by choosing resistance. Huh, um, what if that resistance actually resistance to being alive? Yeah to living fully, resistance to ourselves. And to living that resistance is living fearfully, like trying to withdraw from living fully, withdraw from the experiences. And, and that's what I love. And I'm sorry, you know, I have my old version here, but I freaking love this book, the mm -hmm. How to Become Money Workbook. Is the, the, the words of Raz where he explains, we come, we're not just physical beings, we're not uh, you know, we're infinite beings and we come together with a body in this lifetime to have experiences, mm -hmm. to have experiences that's no resistance whatsoever and total choice. So we can choose at any moment, what is it that we'd like to have? And, and what if one of the things, just one of the things that we'd like to have is everything coming with ease, joy, and glory. In other words, not dictating to life, you've got to come to me this way only is the only way I'm willing to receive you. And if not, I'm going to withdraw because it's going to hurt and I can't control it and it'll be awful and it'll be terrible. No, what if we're willing to, and, and if we don't like a particular choice, if we put our hand in the freaking fire and it hurts, you know, or even if we don't put our hand in the fire, we just perceive, ooh, pain if I touch that because, you know, choice creates awareness. Right. So when we just even choose, oh, what would it be like if I put my hand and you get the awareness right away that that's going to hurt? You don't even have to take that particular move. You don't have to act on it. But it's no. that that recognition that everything it, it, it is a choice and we can live fully and our living will be based on our choosing. And if our choosing is that ease, joy and glory, then there's nothing to be terrified of. Right. So what if it's about being aware of what our choices create and by that kind of like by the virtue of that, it allows us to have all of life comes to us with ease, joy, and glory. Uh, it was funny last night. I was kind of like the milliseconds of unawareness. <laughs> and I was my... in there. <laughs> Done yeah. that. Got the t-shirt. And I bumped my shoulder on the open uh, door of the cabinet. <laughs> and it's like, oh, cool. I was not aware in that moment. That's not life of ease, joy, and glory. Because <laughs> it's, oh, 
but then I'm like, oh, thank you, universe, that it was a shoulder, not my head. Because <laughs> how often we actually bump our heads against the wall, not even realizing that's a wall. I've done that. I have a glass door here. And, you know, back in the day that the, the lady would come to clean it regularly, it was so sparkling clean. I didn't even see it there. And there was one day I just walked full speed ahead right into the glass door and just stood there like, thank God I didn't break it. But it was an interesting well, you thought choice, about the right? door. It's an oh, interesting that... choice. But... Yeah, it's an interesting choice you just said. Thank God I didn't break it, the door. You were not well, thinking. I did break me for sure because I kind of I'm bouncy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but the door but is a little less bouncy it. than me. But yes. it, it, yeah, that's fascinating, you know. Both the the first thing was about the door because I would have had a shower of glass. Um, a friend of mine had a near death experience when she walked into a plate glass door and uh, lost a lot of blood by having all the glass. Right, but that's kind of like all parts of that. But what's interesting about drama. this <laughs> drama and drama, but also about other things. The door. Mm -hmm. First thought yeah. about the door. Something external rather external. than us. Yes, yeah. but not working. including us. So what if it was about us and the door? Yeah. That's yeah. all of life comes to us with ease, joy, and glory. But we always think about another person, another thing, another, to create life of wisdom joy and glory for them. But all of life comes not to them with ease, joy and glory, it's to us, including ourselves. Which we you know what's really interesting with, with that? That's in the, um, manuals of access it's usually written or at least when I first found the tools yeah, of it access, was like, mm -hmm. all of life comes to me with ease joy and glory so it's all of life comes to me and I would sing I started singing because uh, I love to I, I I love to fuck with things and just have mm -hmm. fun and sing and you know that about me for mm -hmm. ages now mm -hmm. um, and anybody who doesn't and has only met me now for the first time yeah, I tend to play with things and I facilitate, not facilitate. Well, I facilitate too, but I do with facilitation because I like to make light <laughs> of everything. So one of the things is all of life comes with ease, joy, and glory. I started singing it. It bothered me that it was to me because um, I thought, but it should be to us. And so I would sing all of life comes with ease and joy and glory. And my kids said, what about to us? Because us is inclusive. It's mm -hmm. not just me or just you or just whoever. It's inclusive. And so I would start singing and I have the tambourine in the other room. I won't regale you with a tambourine, but it says EJG on it. All of, <laughs> comes, all of life comes to us with ease and joy and glory. All of life comes to us with ease, joy and glory. So you're welcome to sing it anytime, y'all. Yeah. And it's, it's interesting because when I started Exodus, I kind of like, eh, mantra. No, I'm, I'm done with Been all the Been there, done that, had the t-shirt, right? Exactly. <laughs> but then one day I chose to do it, the 10 times in the morning, 10 times at night, which was a recommendation before. Now it's 100 times a day. Uh, several and, times a day. Uh, 100 times a day. 100 times, times a day, yeah. Um, but what's interesting, when I wouldn't do my 10 times in the morning, by about 11, 12 o'clock in the afternoon, I would notice that things were like, hey, squeaky. Crunchy. Crunchy. Kind of like things were not going the way I desire it to be. And Control I'm like, freak. <laughs> it was like freaky. But when I would say it, it was so ease, ease, joy, and glory. Kind of like um, I would be running late, but they wouldn't start until I get there. Uh, something would be going on, but everything works out perfectly. It's just point of view creates our reality, but it's not just that. It's not the 
Well, it is magical, but I'm talking about it's not just thinking. Yeah. It's, um, it's also about kind of like the universe listens to what we say and what we think. The universe answers whatever we think and say. Um, in one of the books, you know, I like to read romance novels, fantasy, kind of like fairy tales. And in one of the books, um, it was magic. I don't remember which book it was because I've read so many um, magic. Um, the girl was a witch. And she uh, was learning like in the Academy of Witches. And she was told that in 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 contation, whatever it is, like whatever they say, the witches say, to create something, the magic, she doesn't have to say it aloud, she can think it. And thinking the incantation uh, will actually be stronger. So Rich, what happened there? Because I like your laughing. <laughs> You said a witch, and Avi came in and like, oh, you mean Rachel's book? <laughs> <laughs> it was funny. I said, do you realize I'm a, I muted? <laughs> I said, do you realize I'm on a Facebook Live? <laughs> That's part of the not having to control anything. Zero control, zero breaks. You just went, oops, because he had come to me. <laughs> he brought me some orange juice. <laughs> And he thought I was just having a conversation with you. So he wanted to throw, uh, you know, his two cents in and, and make a joke about his wife being a witch or a bitch of or any combination all, thereof. It's all kind of like, yeah. yeah. But it was just very, very funny. <laughs> exactly. So and, what if we are all witches and have magic? And by just saying that all of life comes to us with Easter and glory, we can actually create the magic of ease, joy, and glory. And it's about choices. It's about what we choose. I love the mantra because every word means something. Every word has the energetic congruences to the energy. So, um, and I know you're drinking juice, which I would love to freshly squeeze juice, but I have my tea. <laughs> and so what, what if it's, don't believe me, don't believe Rachel, um, don't believe anybody, just try it for yourself. Use yeah. the mantra, use it and see. Well Oh, One of the things that, that I'd that? like to say with the using it, uh, the original recommendation um, back when, when we took our first bars classes was 10 times in the morning and 10 times in the evening. I can tell you that I used it when I was in, a, I tend to sometimes get distracted, <laughs> human uh -huh. curiosity, and um, I bonked somebody's car because I thought they already went you know and the guy got out you know all pissed off from his car you know stupid woman driver behind me um and it was just a bump it wasn't a, a big deal but I had repeated in my head because I knew it was totally my fault I pressed on the gas before I should have all of life comes to me with ease during glory all he just came out looked at me rolled his eyes and then got back into his car and that was pretty much it, you know, while doing all the gesturing of stupid woman driver. It's amazing like what yeah. you were saying, magic. When we say all of life comes to us with ease and joy and glory, we're actually acknowledging the contribution of every single molecule, every single element, every single conscious, being that's there to contribute and to have our back. It's consciousness having our back and, and creating this fluidity in life rather than, what was that word we'd said before? Crunchy, that yeah. crunchiness. And, and so there's this flow, this current, this, this ease, you know, things just 
flow with much more ease. Even if we've defined them as a problem, if we've defined them as something difficult, we could step out of that and say, what else is possible if this weren't a problem and I were willing to have ease and joy and glory, what could be different here? And how could I be different here that would change this? You know, what energy can I be that will change this? And it's one of the most honoring energies because it isn't just words this mantra is this oh it's, it's this a vibrational vibration thing. yeah <laughs> it's a um, vibrational thing just like clearing statement it has its own vibration that attunes us like to me it's uh, almost like an attunement to the ease joy and glory exactly because, because to um, acknowledging the truth of who we be because when we are in this reality a lot of times, like if you walk into the room where people are depressed, guess what? You start vibrating at that frequency, at the lower frequency, if you allow it. If you go into the room where people are happy. If you resist and react or align and agree, you're going to be In either case, exactly. That. Yeah. Exactly. But if you go into the room where people are happy and grateful, you start vibrating at that frequency. If you choose to, again. And the same thing with the mantra. If you allow it, you start vibrating at the frequency of the mantra. And mantra has, to me, um, the frequency of gratitude, love, which if you ever saw the scale of emotional um, or scale of vibration of the emotions, I'm not sure how it's worded, but... It's David Hawkins, right? Um, I think there is different. Okay. Um, there is one by David Hawkins. There is uh, some other ones that came after. But all the emotions and feelings are at the bottom. And then love, gratitude, joy, happiness, they all, like if, let's say, sadness, anger, they're like 5, 10, <clears throat> maybe 12. Fear might be like 15, but um, love and joy will be at 500, 700. So the mantra is that, and people say, but that's also emotions. Like, no, that's the spaces of being. Yeah. That's our yeah. natural space of being. Yeah. When we were born, we came in as joyful beings. Yeah, Joy the baby is, is like not me. manic, ecstatic, whatever. <laughs> it's the sense of peace and curiosity. A baby could take his thumb and, you know, look at it, you know, his, his fingers and, and spend mm -hmm. an hour just looking at the way the light moves through the fingers and, and being totally present. Absolutely. And the gift of that presence. So to me, what mantra does, it, it, because it's a vibrational frequency of those spaces of being, all of life comes to us with ease, joy, and glory. So when we say that, our body and our being start vibrating at that frequency. Yeah. So we move from emotions and thoughts and feelings into the spaces of being. So even if it seems stupid you know, to people or they resist, like, why in the hell do I have to say these words? It isn't about having. It's about would you like to embody that energy, to, to let go of the lies of separation and the lies of unworthiness and the lies of finiteness and, and the lies of crap that we've really yeah. bought about belonging to this reality. What is available to us beyond it? Exactly. And beyond it are those spaces of being. Joy, <laughs> ease, Joy glory, glory, the happiness, the love, the gratitude. I love the, the um, experiments that Dr. Masuri Motu had done on the mm. molecules of water. And the, the messages from the molecules were so amazing uh, that when you'd have a bottle that has, I hate you, I'm going to kill you, pasted to it, the, it, it couldn't even like crystallize. It was this kind of a, when, when he 
tried to take pictures under a microscope of those. But the energies that were, you know, with I love you, um, thank you, things like that, that were love and gratitude, those crystals were so amazing. And, and considering most of this planet is water, we're water. In, in, in Hebrew, uh, maim, water, and shamaim, sky, uh, have the same base, maim, water. It's, it's in everything. And what messages are we gifting to ourselves when we buy into the pain and the stories and the suffering and the drama and we don't recognize that we have that choice to embrace or to resist. Yeah, and remember the experiments with plants? When one plant was told how wonderful it is and beautiful and thank you, versus the other one was told how much they hated the plant and how bad it was. And the plant that was told the bad things or like the negative, again, it's not the negative, but it's the judgments, which is the lies. The plant died versus the one that was told like, or talked with gratitude, with um, like the spaces of being. Right. It thrived, but they were watered the same. They've been in the same place. Yeah, but it's that failure to thrive. The thriving comes from that, that recognition that we aren't separate and that we aren't alone. And that but, it doesn't have to be with another person per se. But no, it's ourselves. Everything, yeah. And everything contributes. And if we're willing to receive from everything. So what if that mantra that is that story? message? All of life comes to us with ease, joy, and glory. That helps us to thrive. Yeah, exactly. In the middle of all those judgments. And so grateful for this conversation, for this Zoom. Thank you, Rachel. And thank you, everybody who contributed. Shall we say the mantra a hundred times together just for, yeah. for fun? Would you guys like to do that? Let's do that. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, and I won't regale you with my song, so we'll just do it in talking. But recognize the energy. I'd like us, if if you don't mind, we could do it where we just go, all of life comes to us with ease, joy, and glory. All of life comes to us with ease, joy, and glory. Or we could lower the barriers, allow ourselves to expand, pull energy and through our crown as, as Helen had guided us before, yeah. and, and pull energy from beneath and expand out, expand out from our heart and invite every molecule into this space as well and allow the contribution of every molecule as you're repeating the mantra okay okay so i'm gonna keep i'm gonna keep count <laughs> okay okay all of all life comes to us with ease joy and joy and glory all of all life comes to us, us with ease and joy and glory, and glory. All of life comes to us with ease and joy and glory. All of life comes to us with ease and joy and glory. All of life comes to us with ease and joy and glory. All of life comes to us with ease and, and joy, joy and, and glory. glory. All of life comes to us with, with ease and joy, joy and, and glory. All of life, All of life comes, comes to, us to us with ease and joy and, and glory. All of life, All of life comes to us with, with ease, ease and joy, joy and, glory. and glory. All of life, life comes to us with, with ease and, and joy and glory. 
can speed up well, a little bit. Yeah, of, <laughs> All course of, luck. Can, of course we can. But hang on a second. So what energy, what space, what consciousness, what magic, what miracle, what mystery, what choice, and what possibilities can we be to be that energy that melts any solidity, any yes. separation, any lies around us with total ease, joy, and glory. Life. Yeah. And now let's do another 10, shall we? But faster. Yeah. Because <laughs> otherwise we'll be here till tomorrow. All of All life, life comes, comes to us with ease and joy, joy and glory. glory. All, All of life, life comes to us to with ease, ease and joy, joy and, and glory. glory. And yes, you will be getting a replay <laughs> as long as you register. <laughs> yeah, if you're registered, then we have your email to send it. If not, Facebook darn it, save our Facebook pages. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we'd love for this to be a contribution. And, you know, one of the gifts, one of the gifts of access and of some of these conversations that we've been having for years now is that recognition Something. This is something Dane spoke about last year, um, that beautiful energy beneath it. It isn't about the perfect clearing. It is about your choice to have and to be and to embrace a, a different energy in the world, a different way of being and functioning in the world. And it's your choosing, your active choosing that creates something that's entirely different. And you don't have to look for it outside of uh -huh. it. It's that recognition that you be that fucking magic yeah. and that fucking miracle and that amazing energy and space and consciousness already. And there isn't anything fucked up or wrong or whatever with you. No, you're amazing as you are and your willingness to experiment and play with this experience rather than have everything from the outside dictated to you is so great. And it is the beautiful energy that's beneath this mantra, that's in the books, that's in these conversations, that's in this conversation that I really um, would love for you to receive whenever you're ready to receive it. So, so all of life, all of life comes, comes to, to us, us with, ease with ease and joy, joy and glory. All, All of life, life comes to us with ease, joy, joy, and glory. All of life comes to us with ease, joy, and glory. All of life, all of it, not anything I'm dictating, all of it comes with ease, joy, and glory. All of life comes to us. With ease, with ease and joy, joy and, glory. and glory. All, All of life comes to us with ease, joy, joy and, and glory. All, All of, of life comes to us with, with ease, and joy, joy and glory. What if All we turn that into a walking meditation and just take time, you know, whether it's in our living room or on our balcony, or if we have a house with a yard and we can step out there just to connect with nature and to just be there and be that walking. All of life comes to us well, with, ease, with ease, joy, and, joy and, glory. and glory. All, All of, of life comes to us with, with ease, joy, and, joy and glory. And glory. All of life comes to us with, with ease, ease and joy and glory. All of life comes to us with ease, joy and glory. All of life comes to us with ease, joy and glory. All of life comes to us. With ease, with ease, joy, joy and, and glory. 
all of all life, of life comes, comes to us, to us with, with peace, joy, joy, and glory. And glory. All, all of life, of life comes, comes to us with, with ease, peace, with joy, joy and, and glory. glory. All, all of, of life comes, comes to us with, with ease, peace, joy, and glory. All, all of life comes to us with, with ease, peace, joy, and, and glory. That was 30. Should I sing some? Sure. Or should we repeat more? Just repeat more, I think. Okay. That's cool. So all of life, life comes, comes to us, to us with, with ease, and joy, and glory. All, all of life comes, comes to us to with ease with and joy and glory. All of life comes to us with ease, joy, and glory. All of life comes to us with ease, joy, and glory. All of life comes to us with ease, joy, and glory. All of life comes to us with ease, joy, and glory. All of life comes to us with ease and joy and glory. All of life comes to us with ease and joy and glory. All of life comes to us with ease and joy and glory. All of life comes to us with ease and joy and glory. Yum. All of life comes to us with, with ease, ease and joy and, and glory. glory. All, All of life, of life comes to us with ease and joy and glory. All of life comes to us with ease and joy and glory. All of life, of life comes, comes to us, us with ease and, and joy, joy and, glory. and glory. All of life, of life comes, to comes to us with, with ease and joy and, and glory. glory. Notice your body and what may be going on as something different in your body right now. Mm -hmm. You were talking about that vibration of frequency yeah. that's different, you know, with the mantra. And I can perceive it vibrating through my body where this concept of solidity is. Not yeah, real. And, <laughs> and everywhere where we're resisting to vibrate yeah. that frequency, yeah. we're destroying and create that. And create all of that right and wrong, good and bad, <laughs> pot and pot, bad. all nine right. shorts, boys and beyonds. And you know what? Also, everywhere we're resisting to embody and to invite and to experiment with the mantra. Can we destroy and, and having ease, joy, and glory, almost as if it's not allowed. Can we destroy and uncreate all of that, please? Yes. Right, wrong, good, and bad, pot and pock, all nine shorts, boys, and beyonds. All of life, all of life comes, comes to us, us with, with ease, ease, joy, joy and, and glory. glory. All, All of life, life comes, comes to us with ease, joy, and, and glory. All of, All of life comes to us with ease, joy, joy and, and glory. glory. So beautiful. All of life, All of life comes, comes to us with ease, joy, and glory. All of life comes to us with ease and joy and, and glory. All of life, all of life comes to us with ease, joy and glory. All of life comes to us with ease and joy and glory. All of life comes to us 
with, with ease and joy and glory. And glory. All, All of life comes, comes to us with ease, ease and joy and glory. All, All of life comes to us with ease, ease and, joy and joy and glory. And glory. And what if we actually connected to earth while we're saying that? Yeah. And what if we to could... all the conscious beings on and around the earth? Yeah. Conscious and unconscious, actually. What if we can change? The if we're conscious enough and spacious enough, I think it'll just kind of melt <laughs> all the other so, stuff, you know? So what if we well, expand? and vibrate so anybody who is willing and oh. able to tap into that energy can receive that yeah oh. oh wow that's a massive kind of this tingling frack you know not yeah. a forceful frack it's this you don't even know we're here but we're just gonna melting right through you kind of a wow yeah all of life comes, comes to, us to us with ease, with ease joy, and glory. And glory. All, All the light comes, comes to, us to us with, with ease, ease and joy and glory. All of life, of life comes, comes to, to us, us with ease and joy and, and glory. glory. All, All of life, life comes, comes to, us to us with, with ease and, and joy and, and glory. glory. Wow. All, of, All life of life comes, comes to, us to us with, with ease and joy and glory. And glory. All, All of life, life comes, comes to us. To us with, with ease and, and joy, joy and, and glory. glory. All, All of life comes to us with, with ease, ease and, and joy, joy and, and glory. glory. How present do we have to be to be able to receive all of this, and to be able yeah. to be this vibration and to not go, they're repeating this so many times. Let me hang up or let me distract yeah. myself or let me whatever. That staying with itness is that being willing to be there and to yeah. melt. Yeah. All of, All life, of life comes to us to with ease, ease and, and joy, joy and glory. glory. All, All of life, life comes to us with, with ease, ease and, and joy, joy and glory. And glory. All, All of life, life comes to us with, with ease and joy and glory. <clears throat> All, All of, of life comes, comes to us with, with ease and joy and glory. All of, All of life comes, comes to, us to us with ease and joy and glory. All, All of life comes to us with ease and joy and glory. All of life comes to us with ease and joy and glory. All, All of life, life comes, comes to us with ease and joy and glory. All of life comes to us with ease and joy and glory. All of life comes to us with ease and joy and glory. All, All of, of life, life comes, comes to us, to us with, with ease and joy, joy 
and, and glory. All of, All life, of life comes to us with ease and joy, and joy and glory. All of life, of life comes, comes to us, to us with, with ease and joy and glory. All of All life, of life <laughs> comes to us with, with ease and joy and, and glory. All, All of life, life comes to us with, with ease, ease and joy and glory. All of life, life comes to us with, with ease and joy, joy and glory. All of All life of comes to us with ease and joy and glory. All of life comes to us with ease and joy and glory. All of life comes to us with ease and joy and glory. All of life comes to us with ease and joy and glory. All of life comes to us with ease, joy, and glory. All of life comes to us with ease, and joy, and glory. And I think this is our last one. All of life. All of life comes to us with ease, and joy, and glory. What's interesting, it only took about 10 minutes other than our conversation. In between. Yeah, that we were doing very slowly. Yeah. We so, could do it slowly like that as we walk or as we stretch or as we just sit yeah. and just go, wow, what an amazing world we live in. Um, A I lot remember- of people will, when, when I heard a hundred times, I immediately went into overwhelm, which is a resistance. To yeah. Resist. Well, and, and the other thing is that the majority of people, when they do it a hundred times, or even when they hear it a hundred times, mm-hmm. or what's been like popping in the different like WhatsApp groups is uh, an audio of, you know, Dane had done it like 10 times or 20 times or whatever. And I think it was replicated. I don't know, maybe it was a hundred times, but it sounded like it was looped like cut and pasted Mm -hmm. to create a hundred uh where he's saying all of life comes to us with ease joy and glory all of life comes to us with ease joy and glory all of life comes to us with ease joy and glory that's one way of of doing it Mm -hmm. and it's it's one experience and what other experiences i mean there could be so many ways of incorporating this yeah can we have with the mantra and it's uh kind of like hour and 15 minutes now, so we're way over our time, as always. But um, I just want to invite you, if you like us, Rachel and me. Hold on, like us. Well, it doesn't matter. If they like us, they don't like us, we're still us. (laughs) We're actually choosing to um, do How to Become Money Workbook. Oh, my God, yeah. For 10 classes, and it's going to be twice a week. Uh, probably an hour, hour and a half, um, Rachel and Helen time. <laughs> yeah, you never know how long it's going to be, but we, I'd like to really deep dive into it because for me, yeah. that book is the that beautiful energy that's beneath yeah. everything and that can contribute so much to everybody's life. I know it's called How to Become Money, but that's yeah. a big lie. <laughs> Yeah, how to be. <laughs> how to become and how to be. So we're starting on 26th of May, and it's uh, on the website right now. And I think, um, do we have an event on the Facebook yet? But it's no, will be. no, I hadn't done that yet. But it's yeah. um, it will we'll be even, done in in a private Facebook group as yeah. well, where we can get together and and play and clear things and. Um, we're happy to get translators for different languages as well if there is a desire or uh, an interest in having it in other languages we're yeah. happy to have that yeah because uh, there are translators all over the world and um, 
as I said, it will be Tuesdays and Thursdays at, I think, 12 o'clock my time, which is Israel is 9 p.m. Um, Moscow, I think it's um, also 9 p.m. And um, everything will be in the email uh, with the recording. We'll send out recording. And by the way, I have a desire to send it to everybody, even if you didn't register. <laughs> All of this? <laughs> All of us. Well, okay. Why not? You know what? Any, one of the things that, that I've really gotten, um, you know, in our, in our not foundation, beyond foundation, whatever you want to call it, class, uh, that we'd had, we delved a lot into um, other materials, uh, reference materials, other mm -hmm. experiences that we've had with the access tools and everything. And one of the things that I, I really, really got is when we're willing to be the energy, mm -hmm. we become like a broadcast station. Yeah that broadcasts possibilities out in the world, not even by screaming it out. I'm sorry, the words are one thing. It's the energy. And that's what I love about this yeah. mantra, because it isn't just the words of it. No, it's, it's that the energy, that willingness to be it. And that is just something so beautiful and when more of us are willing to be that and step into that and choose that and yeah. i would like to that. open that conversation to everybody on our on our email list and maybe share it even in the groups so i guess we'll see you next time thank you everybody thank you everybody for, and for allowing us to play with you and and expand yeah. through you into wow magic thank miracles. you helen rachel thank you thank you rachel thank <laughs> you pleasure pleasure everybody thank you so much thank you so much really appreciate it bye till next time Enjoy and glory everybody okay bye